Okay, here I have the Actacom uh, LCR meter. Uh, this is the problem that I'm having. Let's see if that helps to see. Okay, right now I have it in the uh, parallel capacitance and with no capacitance, no leads, I have an offset. I have a capacitance of a 20.4 picofarads. Okay, so to calibrate it to zero uh, the, the readings, I press Cal for two seconds. Okay, so now it's open, I press. <laughs> so it counts down for 30 seconds. Okay, eight, seven, six. Okay, now it says that the calibration passed, so that's fine. So now I go ahead and press cal again. Now it's a short, so I'm going to put a little piece of wire right between the two slot right there. So right there's a little wire, short piece of wire. Okay, and that should zero out the short. Press cal again. Counts down. So it's counting down to three, two, zero. It passed. So I press Cal. Remove the short. Okay. Go ahead and put in the CP or C parallel mode. And if you notice, it's 0.0, .0 picofarads. I can also change the frequency all the way to 100 kilohertz, and it's still 000, which is good. Now, once I have it calibrated, uh, this works very well. And this is 75, about a 75 picofarad and 77. So, in this configuration, it works beautiful. And also, if I put an inductor across it, it works beautiful. Now, as soon as I put the tweezers that were supplied with it, if I put the tweezers in the terminal block, Okay, there's al already a 24 picofarad. Okay, now if I want to take a, a reading of that, okay, I would have to take, read that. I would measure across the capacitor. So it's the 75 plus the 20 something. So I end up with 103. So I would have to t subtract the 103 actually 103 and then subtract the 25 which is 75 picofarad but ideally this is not the way you want to try, uh, use it what you want to do is you want to calibrate or at least null out the capacitance in the tweezers so I'll go ahead and press cal okay now the leads are not touching they're open I'm going to set it right here okay so there should be open. I press cal. Okay, and this is a function that I've been getting failures. In other words, it, uh, for some reason it doesn't want to null out the, the, the 25 picofarads. And the same thing if I use the other cables that were supplied with it. See, if you notice right there, it says fail. So I'll try it again. <coughs> Okay, I'll turn it off just to be sure. Okay, so I still have the 30 picofarads, or actually the 25 picofarads. Press Cal. Okay, it's open. Okay, it's playing the open.
It's counting down. And it fails again. Okay. What about if I disconnect that? Okay. Go back to the CP. Okay. Press. L. It's counting down. Okay, that pass, and then I can go ahead and proceed with the short. Make sure it works. Make a little wire there. It failed that time as well. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, so it's failing. Okay, let's. I'm busy, but the. Okay. Let's see if I put a. Let's see a twenty-three pickle ferret. Okay, let's see if I'll know that. Press no. Hey guys, I'm making a film. Where? I'm recording, guys. Uh oh, I just changed it. What channel is it on? I'm upstairs recording. Keep it down. Okay, in this case, that it was able to null out a 22 23 pico ferret. Let's see if I can get this. I have a hard time inserting this. Okay, hopefully this is working. Okay. Now, if I I nulled it with the twenty two, so uh, so when I remove it, then it should have a twenty two offset. Okay, it passed that. So when I take this off, it should read twenty two, which is the offset that I. Adjusted it. Go back to function. Okay, so that's the offset. Okay, so I I purposely decalibrated it, or at least showed that if you have a 20 picofarad offset, then it can. But for some reason, if it's larger, or if your capacitance that you're trying to null out is, let's say, 25 or bigger. For some reason, it seems to fail. Let me go ahead and recall this again to show that it does work. Okay, open.
Okay, and so now I'm going to put the short. Okay, put the little wire. down works so now press cowl again okay go ahead and put it back in the function CS okay that looks good zero zero put the capacitor again should be about 77 pico bingo okay I'm gonna try this another time okay here's the 25 picos or 30 or whatever it may be Okay, cow. Okay, there's the open. See, so it fell. Doesn't even. Doesn't even count down. Okay. Well, now the other problem that I see is the APO. See every button that you push makes a little noise or beep. But when you press the APO, notice nothing. Nothing works. It just doesn't. There's supposed to be APO that. So that's the second problem that I had. Hopefully, please show it to your product manufacturer. See if they can have a solution to this. Also, I like a replacement. Now, obviously, there's something wrong with this unit. Hopefully, the other units that you have in stock don't have this problem. Anyway, give me a call when you hear anything from your. My product manufacturer. Thank you.